This webinar will show how the React Home Expression Analysis tool can be used to overlay expression data onto React Home Pathway diagrams. In the sidebar of the React Home homepage, click on the Analyze Expression Data button to launch the data entry page for the expression analysis. The expression analysis data entry page will accept numerous gene and protein names, database identifiers, and accession numbers, and will support columns containing numerical values. For example, full change expression data, abundance, or statistical value. Data should be formatted as a tab delimited file where the first column contains the identifiers and subsequent columns contains the numerical values. Click the example button on the upload expression data page and then click the analyze button to perform the expression analysis. After a few seconds, a table of results entitled expression per pathway will appear. The expression per pathway results are presented as a sortable table that can be downloaded as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or a tab or comma separated values format. The sortable table contains one row for each reactant pathway and six columns. The pathway name, the species, the total number of proteins in the pathway, the proteins in the pathway represented in the submitted data, and a graphic representing the ratio of the values in columns three and four. And finally, a view button that launches the pathway browser and displays the relevant pathway diagrams. Resort the percentage and data column by clicking the small white arrow once, and then click the View button for double strand break repair to open the Pathway Browser in a new window. Be sure the web browser is configured to see pop-ups for Reactome, otherwise the Pathway Browser will not launch. Click on the second highest circle of the navigation tool to zoom out and use the arrows to scroll about the Pathway Diagram. The entity colouring will be based upon the average of the numerical values across all identifiers with blue for the lowest expression values and red for the highest expression values. Black colored nodes represent complexes and gray colored entities are proteins or small molecules with no accompanying values in the input data set. The submitted identifier and numerical value are overlaid onto the physical entities of the pathway diagram. Click on the highest circle to zoom in and then mouse over the DNA PK DNA complex to show the name of the complex. Right-click on the same complex entity and select Display Participating Molecules. A pop-up box should appear with a grid of coloured squares inside it, representing expression levels for the complex components. Mousing over the coloured boxes of the DNA PK DNA complex will display the names of the individual protein components of the complex, the expression values and the Affymetrix probe identifier. At the base of the diagram, you will see a bar containing the text experiment 10 error underscore control and two arrows. Click on the forward arrow four times. Some of the entities will change color in the pathway diagram, reflecting changes in their expression over the different time points. If you would like to refer to the Reactum user guide, you will find additional information about the expression analysis tool. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please contact us at help.reactome.org.